now that the battery is back in uh, for the season. I had it on the trickle for most of the winter, so hoping the lawnmower just starts right up. Uh, we'll get that brought over to the garage. I want to change the oil, uh, change the air filter. I want to check all the other uh, all the other fluids on there. I want to sharpen the blades uh, and clean it out. Last last fall, I didn't get the chance to really uh, clean it as, as well as I normally like to. So I want to clean out that deck uh, and just really prepare it for the, for the spring season.
so now that we're done uh we got the we got the mower all set up here um you know got the battery in obviously uh sharpen the blades change the oil um after you wash it i like to go in and hit all the grease fittings just to get that get that any moisture out um, a lot of you guys have asked you know regarding the 1025r you know if i have the mower deck for it um, as you can imagine i i don't have i don't have it i don't plan on getting it um, I don't recommend it either. You know, if you're looking for a nice lawn, nice manicured lawn that you see, you know, photos of or see on some of the YouTube channels, you know, uh, a 1025R running across that, uh, being as heavy as it is, isn't going to be good for it. You know, if you think of, even if you have the implements off of it, um, I have the Curtis cab on mine, but even if that was off as well, you know, that machine weighs quite a bit, uh, and running consistently over and over, uh, your, your lawn, it's gonna compact your soil, it's gonna damage the plant. Um, of course, you can core aerate, but that's gonna lead to some weeds, which you have to put down some more pre-emergence or post-emergence. Uh, so if you do want a nice manicured lawn, I certainly recommend uh, getting a standalone unit. Um, it also is the benefit, if, I'm sure if you own a subcompact tractor, uh, you can appreciate that projects just randomly come up, uh, whether they're yours or they could be, uh, you know, your neighbors or f friends or family. and. Um, it's nice just to have the implements always on that. So I have the backhoe and the front end loader on it. Uh, and if something comes up, I can easily just hop on and go. I don't have to keep putting them on and taking them off. Um, if you mow as frequently as you should be, um, you know, having to have those, the implements off that much, uh, it wouldn't be that great. So it is, it does serve its purpose. You know, if you have a couple of acres of land, uh, that you need to maintain and, um, you know, you just got whatever's growing there that's green, that looks like grass and you just need to you know, mow that and put the thing in cruise control and go, I, I get that. And if you don't have room for a store another piece of machinery, I get that as well. Um, the price point on that mower deck is is high. You can certainly get a garden tractor or, you know, in some cases a zero turn for the same price. Um, so that's what I did when I, when I first started getting into lawn care and learning about it. Uh, I started to think of, you know, what's the op optimal um, piece of machinery that I would want uh, to make, you know, maintaining about 20,000 square feet of uh, of a manicured lawn uh, easy uh, without sacrificing on cut quality or in the health of the the health of the plant the health of the soil um, so i ended up buying a john deere zero turn uh, and if you can appreciate if you have a if you have a lawnmower um, you know jacking it up it's a, it's a little awkward and getting it like you're you're sliding underneath it and you're trying to clean out you scrape the deck clean uh, pull out the the mower blades to sharpen them you know, one of the best things you can do for your turf is is to have a sharp blade um, and mow frequently. So, if you're able to get in and keep them keep it sharp, uh, you know, it's it's nice to it's nice to have that flexibility. You know, on a walker mower that you're able just to flip that deck up, as you've seen in the video. You pull two pins, the whole deck that rides out front can flip up. You know, I can sharpen the blades and change them uh, rather quick, um, where it's just awkward on a on a normal lawnmower. So. This flips this this front style uh, deck on this Walker uh, mower. They're made right in Colorado. Is what really uh, drew me to the brand. Um, and when I started to look into them and trying to figure out, like you know, why so many commercial guys use this style mower, uh, it's really because of the, the how easy it is to maintain um, the cutting deck, um, the beautiful cut that it that it leaves. This is probably one of the best um, cut quality mowers um, that you can get. Um, and then. When the other big benefit is the grass handling system in, in the hopper here to collect your blades. You know, you can certainly mulch. Mulching is great, especially if you cut as frequently as I do. You, you know, you don't have to collect your grass clippings, um, but this comes in super handy in the fall. You know, the whole yards, I border woods uh, for the most part, and then you get some of your neighbor's leaves that blow over. You know, instead of leaf blowing all the time and, you know, raking them onto, the, onto your tarp and dragging them off into the woods, it's nice just to, to go over. You know, I've never had an issue of this thing clogging, you know, wet, heavy leaves. You just basically mow your, your yard, pick up all the leaves, and it's phenomenal. Um, and then dumping, it's, it's super easy. You're not pulling out, like, these bags that tend to rip and dragging them off. You know, you can simply, this just pulls up on the back. Uh, and then of course all you'd all you'd have to do is is just tilt uh, and you're good to go um, the maintenance on it super easy um, You know this this folds up uh, this this side of the of the tractor the seat folds forward uh, as I showed you the deck obviously flips up um, So it's just a great mower to have totally understand that this mower is uh, A bit more expensive than the the ride on deck that you can get on a subcompact um, But there are some benefits you, you can certainly 
pick these up used. Um, you know, a lot of the commercial guys, like I said, use them. So you can find them on Craigslist or Marketplace. You know, if you want to see if if this is a, like the right mower for you, um, if you have a lot of manicured turf that you want to maintain, um, a nice mower goes a long way. Um, and this makes it fun. I, re I really enjoy mowing with this. I've had, I had this, I bought this in late 2019, at late in the lawn care season. Um, so last year was really my full year of of being able to use it. Um, so I'm excited for this year. You know, back here, we're still in a little dormancy. It's it's March 21st, uh, it's 60 degrees out now. It's gonna be 60s uh, this week. So I'm excited to start to use it in the lawn. It'll probably be, you know, about a month uh, until I can actually mow with it. But, you know, as the grass starts to wake up, uh, come out of dormancy, uh, I'll probably do some light raking out front where I just planted um, all turf type tall fescue uh, back in the fall. Uh, this is all just established turf that's been here for a few years. I'm gonna likely um, get rid of this and probably do the same turf type tall fescue throughout the full lawn uh, all out back. This has some Kentucky bluegrass and some rye uh, and some other cultivars uh, cultivars in there. So hopefully um, be showing this to you on the channel uh, in the in the coming weeks. Uh, I will, I have a dethatcher uh, for the front of this system and that I'll be putting on and I'll probably run it just in this back. I'll do light raking out front, uh, but I'll take some footage of that. We'll get the, the doors off the Curtis cab. Uh, and then we'll also show you the, the sprayer and spreader system that I use uh, to put down my pre-emergence. Uh, probably put, throw down some humic acid in the com coming weeks uh, alongside the pre-emergent. Um, I'll show you that system that I use on that. And uh, like I said, I'll have the dethatcher on this. Um, it's another unique feature of, of the Walker tractor is the dethatcher sits in the front. So instead of having a tow behind unit uh, and towing the dethatcher throughout your whole yard and then putting your bagger back on and then having to go through your whole yard again, uh, this dethatcher sits in the front. So once it pulls up the thatch, it goes right into the system and bags it. Uh, so it's really nice. So I'll hopefully have some videos of that coming up uh, in the near future and as, as well as the, the sprayer setup. Um, if you guys haven't already ordered your soil sample kit, um, you know, go on Amazon or just go under their website. I use Soil Savvy, but you can buy whatever one you want. Uh, I sent mine in the other day. We should have uh, the results on that back. So we'll probably throw down some, some nitrogen. Uh, I'll do it separate from the pre-emergent, but we'll throw down some nitrogen, you know, probably come May, uh, beginning of May, I, I would say, I'd probably throw down like half pound or three quarters of a pound of nitrogen to really help start pushing the growth uh, as things start to warm up uh, before we get into the, the summer season when things start to get a little bit more stressed. So if you like this video, uh, like and subscribe. Uh, if you don't, I don't know why you watched it or continue to watch these things. If you guys have anything else you want to see on the channel, let me know. Happy to do some videos for you. And with that, I will see you in the next one.